Hello and welcome to Focus Forever. In today's DIY series video, I'm going to be checking the accuracy of the AquaCheck 7 pool and spa test strips. If you're not familiar with these, they're thin plastic strips with six test areas that react when dipped in your pool or spa water. The test areas change colors and after waiting 15 seconds, you compare them to the colors on the bottle to check seven important levels of your water. A 100 count package is under $25 on Amazon, so if you test twice a week, it'll last you about a year. I'm going to test these by, at the same time as using one of the strips, collect a sample of water and take it to my local pool supply store for a more thorough chemical test. The report the store provides quantifies the same chemical properties. The test strips are more subjective based on interpretation of the colors or where a test area falls if between two colors. However, I find that for each test area, the difference in color between the different levels provided on the packaging is sufficient to get a pretty accurate read on the quantity it's representing. Join me now as we check the accuracy of these pool test strips, and if you like these kinds of videos, consider subscribing to find your way back for more. First, we'll take a quick look at the seven measurements that the AquaCheck 7 strips provide. At the top is total hardness of the water. This equates to calcium hardness on the pool supply store report. The second test area on the strip provides two measurements, total chlorine and total bromine. In this case, we'll be able to compare the total chlorine to what's on the report. Next is free chlorine. Free chlorine differs from total chlorine in that it's the amount available to sanitize contaminants in the water. Total chlorine is essentially the sum of free chlorine and chlorine that is already combined with contaminants. If your free chlorine is low, pool shock can be used to raise the level and improve its ability to destroy the contaminants. pH is the measure of how acidic or alkaline the water is. Next is total alkalinity. This is the measure of the water's ability to resist becoming more acidic. And finally, cyanuric acid. This is often referred to as stabilizer, a chemical in the water that protects the chlorine from being destroyed by sunlight. Of the seven measurements on the test strip, only total bromine is not available on the pool supply store report. The report also includes salt concentration, which is useful information and can be compared to what's shown on your control panel if it provides that. Now we're ready to test and compare. Now it's time to compare the results. First up, total hardness. The color on the test strip is a very close match to the center square on the bottle, so this one is approximately 250 parts per million. In the pool supply store report, 270 parts per million, very close to what I observed on the test strip. Next, total chlorine. I'm holding this closest to the three parts per million square, but I judged it to be slightly darker than that. It's definitely between the three and five available on the bottle, so I'll call it a four. The report shows four parts per million for total chlorine, another match to the test strips. Free chlorine is a very close match to the three parts per million square on the bottle. It may be slightly darker than that, but not so much that I can call it a four. This is a three. The report has four parts per million for free chlorine, so we've got a first slight disagreement between the two results. Next is pH. This most closely aligns with the 7.8 square on the bottle. However, I do perceive the slightest bit of a redder tone moving towards the 8.4. I'll call this an 8.0. Compared to the report's value of 7.6, it's close, but not an exact match. Total alkalinity. This was the hardest one to judge. The test strip definitely has some of the olive green color of the 80 parts per million square, but it was lighter than that. It also shows a lot of the grayish green of the 120, with the center of that test area being a very close match to that color. I'm calling this about a 110. Total alkalinity is 120 parts per million on the report, so a pretty good match to the test strip. And finally, stabilizer. This is a pretty close match to the second square on the bottle. That square is labeled as 30 to 50. I'd say the test strip has the slightest bit more red to it than that square, but nowhere near the 100. I'll call this a 50 to 60. For stabilizer, the report shows 60 parts per million, another good match with the test strip. Here's a summary of the results. All in all, I think the AquaCheck 7 test strips work quite well. Accepting the subjective nature of interpreting the colors, they showed a good degree of accuracy compared to the more comprehensive reactive chemical water analysis done by the pool supply store. I would definitely recommend these. They're an easy and affordable way to regularly monitor the levels of seven different attributes of your pool or spa water. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and always stay focused.